Thought I'd give you guys an update on the seeds that I have started and how they are growing. This is the um, rack that I have most of them on. I'm kind of running out of some room, so I have a few things on the table yet. Hoping the cold frame will warm up here soon so some of this stuff can go outside, especially the cold weather stuff. Get up close to some of this stuff. You can see these are peppers in this tray. Peppers are doing really well. Um, I think I've got about 11 or 12 different variety of sweet peppers. I didn't grow any hot peppers. We're not big hot pepper fans. I mean, I like a few for salsa and stuff, but for the majority of what we eat, it's going to be a sweet or a bell pepper. These are tomatoes. So these tomatoes are doing pretty good. I'm thinking I could probably put a little bit more dirt in these cups. That way they um, don't look so leggy. But for the most part, they are looking really good. And I just have this cup of green onions under the grow lights too. These green onions have been growing for, hmm, I don't know how long, probably a month in there roots have gotten so much. I've cut these several times and reused them so so I just thought I, they needed a little bit of light because they were turning a little yellow. Anyways, these um, this tray here is my onions. I can't remember the name of this onion but they're supposed to get pretty big. Um, so I planted some in here and then I have some in another container. Um, but those aren't up yet. Over here I have some marigolds. This one has not come up yet. That's a different variety of marigold, but these ones have. This um, area here is some zinnias and a couple of those have come up. In the back I planted some petunias. They have not come up yet. And this tray, I have a variety of stuff. So there's mustard, and I planted all of this on the 17th. March 17th. So the mustard is, um, a lot of these little things have come up. And this is spinach, kale, Swiss chard. I have Brussels sprouts. None of that is up. Oh, I do have a little Brussels sprout coming. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and then I have cabbage and cauliflower in the back. And broccoli. And this is cabbage. Oh, this is broccoli over right here. Looks like it wants to lean towards the window. The top shelf, I'll have to take these trays down because they are under the grow lights that are colored. So they're hard to see, but I'll bring these down and show you what's in them. Okay, in this tray I have stevia. Now these three stevia plants were doing really, they just were really having a hard time getting going. Um, but I watered them and they seem to be looking a lot better than they were. These are a flower. Um, I don't remember the name of the flower. I have a couple of these already in my yard. They're a perennial and I just love them. I think they're so pretty. So I planted a couple more of those. This is lemon bee balm. So I'm thinking, I, I don't have lemon bee balm, but I'm thinking these are gonna either when you make a tea with the flower or maybe the leaf. I'm not sure if they're gonna taste like a lemon or what, but it will be interesting. I don't I don't have lemon bee balm, so I wanted to try that. These are just a mixture of different li um a mixture of different bee balms. So this one here is kind of small, but I'm sure it'll be fine. These are also bee balm. And this here is all hyssop. I love the smell of hyssop also. So that will be good in a tea. In this tray is all tomatoes, different varieties. From over here I have a little cherry type tomato which is called a blueberry. And then I have a yellow tomato, um, a black um, vernissage tomato. Also have a blue beauty. And these are a mushroom basket type tomato. These are uh, German, German pinks. All of these are German pinks, so those look nice. 
And these ones that are leaning because they were reaching for the sun, those are all Amish paste tomatoes. This is the last tray on my top shelf, which also has a bunch of different things in. I have celery over here, and these are um, basil. This is a different basil. I love this basil. And this has really grown in the last couple of days, so it's just looking so pretty. This is a different basil, cinnamon basil. These are borage flowers. They're really taken off too. Although I do see this one isn't doing very good. Hmm. So this is all celery and this is some peppers that got a late start. And these two, this one here didn't make it, but these two are getting a slow start. And then these are some flowers, aster flowers. Okay, the next row of stuff I have, this tray is all peppers except for this one. This is a tomato, a blue beauty. Looks like it's leaning towards the light. Maybe needs some more dirt. But the peppers are doing good. I have one here that looks quite yellow. I'm not sure if you can see that on the video, but it's more yellow than all the other ones, so I'm not sure. Maybe I need to give it some more plant food. This is some more peppers. Just different varieties of peppers. Lots of peppers. And then this tray is a hodgepodge. <laughs> I have some holy basil in the back. And this um, bigger stuff is uh, hyssop. I have bee balm here. These are all bee balm. And that's the lemon bee balm. This is holy basil, and these are celery. I'm not sure if this celery is going to need to be transplanted into something a little bit bigger. Oh, I guess we just kind of wait and see. And this tray is all peppers again, so this pepper wants to lean a little bit. This one might need to be transplanted because this cup is kind of small. It's a yellow monster. I'm not sure how big this variety gets. I've not planted that before. But this one down here is, uh, what is this? Not a pino? Yeah. So maybe it won't, eh, maybe it won't get quite as big, but some of these I think would do better maybe in a, if I planted them a little bit deeper in a bigger cup. These are the styrofoam cups. And the next row I have more peppers surprisingly actually here and here in the back are all peppers these peppers are looking pretty good and um, here are a couple tomatoes what kind of tomato this is a blue beauty and this one has a couple oh it's lost its its first leaves both of these have hmm wonder why don't think I've kept it too wet. Maybe if you guys know why they lose the those leaves, let me know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Otherwise, they're looking good. They don't look like they're stressed or anything. I just don't want them to be stressed. So, so that's them. This tray is kind of a hodgepodge also. I have planted in this first row, um, another pepper of obviously there's only a couple that have germinated and sprouted so I'm waiting for the rest I just planted these I didn't write the date on that one um, and then I have some tomatoes that weren't very big yet for replanting so I've just left them in there for now a couple of these I guess should be transplanted what else? I have more basil in here. I have lemon balm, parsley. I have thyme. I have uh, oregano, rosemary. And in the back I've got some flowers. Some of the flowers have germinated and some of them haven't. Um, these are little cocks comb and this is um, borage. Both of these are borage that probably need to get out of there. These are the peanuts that I had a video about when I planted them. 
And if you would look here, you can see that the roots are starting to pop out of the cup. So I don't know if that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing because when I take these out, I'm not sure, you know, if the roots are going to be caught in the holes of the cup. So we'll see. But they look good. I had two plants that didn't germinate. The seed just kind of rotted in there, so I replanted the, these two cups. That one there is just starting, and this one too. I probably should move them under the light, and maybe they would grow a little better. And then over here on the table, I haven't really got a whole lot of room for them on the shelf, so I just leave them here for at the moment. Um, I just planted extras of some things. This is cilantro, and this is parsley. These are borage flowers, some more of those. Um, zinnias, more zinnias, and more celery. These two are morning glories. Um, I know morning glories don't really like to be transplanted, but I'm going to give it a try. If they don't um, turn out uh, to be very successful with the transplant, I'm just gonna sow some into the ground when it gets warmer. And these are lettuce, two different varieties of lettuce. And I have a red cabbage. So none of that is up yet because I just planted it on the 19th. So a few days ago. It probably will take a couple more days before I see any growth. So that's pretty much all of the plants that I've started so far. Um, I have a bunch more that I would like to start. I just need to have room for it. And I think I need to wait a little bit longer because, because I still have till the middle of May before I can really even think about planting.